Hello, I'm Colm Hanrady from HostelWorld.com and if you want to know where is the best place for views of one of South Africa's most famous attractions, where you can hang out with penguins, and what are its best beaches, go nowhere, because here are 10 things you need to know about Cape Town. Thanks to golden beaches, colourful neighbourhoods and a landmark simply known as the mountain, there are few cities in the world that are as spectacular as Cape Town. South Africa's most famous city also boasts unforgettable coastal drives, an abundance of wildlife and sunsets that will leave you breathless. So, if you're planning a trip around this fascinating country, make sure to put by at least five days to fully appreciate it. Now, here is the first of those 10 things. Overlooking Cape Town from all angles is Table Mountain, the city's number one tourist attraction which is known simply as the mountain. Don't leave without going to the top to enjoy a host of walking trails and breathtaking views. While you're undoubtedly going to go to the top of Table Mountain when you're here in Cape Town, if you're looking for that perfect postcard shot that you've seen in so many photographs, you'll get it from here on Bloberg Beach. One of the most enjoyable ways to spend a day when in Cape Town is by going on a drive to Cape Point. Taking in the famous Chapman's Peak Drive along the way, here you can visit the Cape of Good Hope and more. And when you come down here to Cape Point, make sure to walk up to the lighthouse because as you can see, the views are unforgettable. Located between Table Mountain and Robin Island, this is the V&A waterfront which is South Africa's most visited destination. Now while it is extremely touristy, it is worth visiting and this is a really nice place to spend a few hours. Here you can enjoy free entertainment, dine out in one of the many restaurants or treat yourself to something new in the shopping mall. Cape Town is home to lots of golden beaches. The best known is the beach at Camps Bay, while Musenberg Beach is extremely popular with surfers. And if you're looking for something a little quieter, check out the beach at Hout Bay. Another of Cape Town's well-known beaches is Clifton Beach, and this is actually broken up into four different beaches. The first beach, which is known as First Beach, is the quietest of the four. Second beach, which is where I am now, attracts a young bohemian crowd. Third beach is extremely popular with the city's gay community, while fourth beach is where you'll find families and Cape Town's most beautiful people. It's a great place to get involved in volunteerism. You can do this through community projects run by hostels such as the Backpack and the Shanty Lodge where you spend the day with children from local townships reading to them or playing sports. And if you do decide to get involved, your help really can make a difference. Located just off the coast of Cape Town is Robin Island, which is home to one of the world's most famous prisons. A visit to the island takes approximately three hours. During this time you get to see the quarry where the inmates worked, the yard where they spent their recreational time and the cells where they slept. The most famous one being cell number five, which was Nelson Mandela's. Located just 20 minutes outside central Cape Town is the Kirsten Bosch National Botanical Garden. Established in 1913 to help promote the flora of southern Africa, this was the first indigenous botanical garden in the world. So if you're looking to get away from it all for a couple of hours, this is the perfect place to go.
Within one hour from Cape Town, you'll find hundreds of vineyards, most of them in either Stellenbosch or Pearl. So when you're here, it would be rude not to do some wine tasting. Cheers. A great vineyard to visit is Fairview in Pearl, which is as famous for its cheese as it is for its wine. On a visit, you can taste lots of wine, as well as see how they store it. Cape Town is the only city in Africa where you will find penguins in the wild, and the best place to see them is down on Bowlers Beach here in Simonstown. Other wildlife to be seen include snakes, baboons, and ostriches, which you'll find at Cape Point, seals at the VNA waterfront, and two hours from Cape Town near the town of Hermanus, you can get up close and personal with great white sharks. Cape Town is home to some fascinating neighbourhoods. Cock Bay is a charming fishing village worth checking out, while Camps Bay is perfect for relaxing in one of its cafes. In downtown Cape Town you'll find busy areas such as the bustling Adderley Street and Green Market Square, while Green Point is the perfect place for an evening stroll. Another neighbourhood which you must visit is called Bukop, which is just west of the city centre. Established in the middle of the 18th century, this is one of Cape Town's biggest Muslim neighbourhoods. And as you can see, it's also one of its most colourful. So that is our 10 things you need to know about Cape Town. Hopefully this video will help you plan your trip to this amazing city. For a fact sheet on everything that's in this video, log on to www.hostelworld.com forward slash videos and for the biggest and best selection of hostels in Cape Town on the internet, stay on the same site.